In this video, I'm going to show you how to place four genes onto a chromosome map. So that's going to be genes A, B, C, and D. And then we're going to take that map and we're going to use it to determine the distance between the genes that we have. Now looking at the recombination frequencies that we've got listed here, we can already see the distance between some of them. So for example, B and C we know are going to be 16 map units apart from each other. We know that A and B are going to be 31 map units apart. And we know that because 1% is equal to one map unit. And that holds true until we get to 50. When we get to 50%, that tells us that they are 50 plus, so 50 or more map units apart. And if we want to know exactly how far apart they are, that's when we have to actually draw the map. Okay, so that's what we're going to do now. We're going to draw that chromosome map so that we can see exactly how far apart they are. So I'm going to draw my chromosome here. And I like to start with the ones that are the closest together. In this case, it's going to be B and C. So I'm going to take this information, and I can see that B and C are 16 map units apart from each other. Now I'm going to move on to the ones that are the next closest together, which is going to be A and B up here at the top. And from that, I can see that A is either going to be 31 in this direction, or it could be 31 in this direction. Using that information and then looking at the next one down the list, we can see that A and C are supposed to be 47. And if A and C are 47, that means this one cannot be true. So that means my A is actually located right here. So I'm going to put it on my map. And I'm going to move on to the next closest together, which is the C and D down at the bottom. The information tells me that D is either 43 in this direction from C or it could be 43 in this direction from C. And based on the other information that we have, if we just look at this one, um, A and D, we can see that A and D are supposed to be very far apart, so this can't be the right D location. So I'm going to put D on my chromosome over here, and then I have my chromosome map. So from the chromosome map, I can see the distances between these genes. We can confirm if we just look at, say, A and D, we said before they're supposed to be 50 plus map units apart. If we look at exactly how far apart they are, the A and D is going to be 31 plus 16 plus 43. Whatever that number happens to be, that will give us the map units. Okay, so you can add those together and come up with an actual number, but you can see that it's clearly going to be over 50. And that's exactly what we ex would expect. If we add those up, we can see the exact distance. We can do the same thing for B and D. B and D, um, we can see that they would be, it's this distance here. So that's going to be 16 plus 43. That's going to give us the actual number of map units between those two. Again, it's over 50, which is what we would expect. For the rest of them, um, A and C, for example, is exactly 47, so 47 map units. We can see that A and B were exactly 31. We can see that C and D were exactly 43. Right, so it's easy to determine the distance between them if the recombination frequency is below 50%. Once we get to 50%, you've actually got to put together the chromosome map and count up or add up the distance between the two genes that you're specifically looking at.